Good day. Today I'd like to talk about site selection for soil moisture probes. I think it's well known in the irrigation industry that uh, different soil types and textures have a uh, big influence on crop performance, but also pose a problem of where to put actually uh, soil moisture probes to represent uh, the plot. Um, soil surveys have been used in the past to zone different areas that have more uh, similar soil textures and, and uh, crop cover. Um, and today we're using infrared uh, and multispectral imaging to uh, really make site selection and zoning of irrigation management units easier. However, what's probably not well known is that water distribution uniformity coming from irrigation systems itself can vary quite significantly and, and also pose a, um, a challenge where to put probes. Uh, in this picture, it's very obvious that that sprinkler doesn't work. Um, here on this vineyard, uh, you can see a very pronounced um, circular pattern. This happens because the pressure of the actual irrigation system has gone down and the sprinkler coverage is falling short. Now, if you don't know this and you put a probe into the dark green area, which means it gets more water, the water penetrates, say, 50, 60 centimeters, and you put a probe in the light green area, you get completely different results. Um, if you put it in the dark green area, you might think uh, this person is over-irrigating and you get this person to wind back. If you put it in a light green area, the irrigation penetrates 10 centimeters and you think we're not irrigating enough. So that's a dilemma. Uh, we need to actually make sure before we start uh, irrigation scheduling on basin soil moisture probe that they present the best um, scenario that we possibly can hope for. To do this, we suggest a simple distribution uniformity test by putting out catch cans and the uh, irrigation is switched on for a little while and then the liquid is measured in every can and you create a kind of distribution uh, picture which basically show you in this little lovely lawn we had a uh, difference in the red area from one inch application to the blue area uh, more than three inches application and we picked the green area as an average to put our probe position. You can also calculate a distribution uniformity uh, and it should be more or less above 75 percent otherwise you're really wasting your time with irrigation management based on positioning of soil moisture probe. Same applies for pivots. Um, it's a slightly different uh, approach, but I'll show you an outcome here, uh, starting from the center of the pivot going to the outside from left to right. Um, you can see there is quite a under or over performance of application rate, and uh, there is even a blocked uh, sprinkler um, which you can see. And again, you can use these sort of pictures to cite your probes more properly within the pivot to make sure that you really catch the average uh, precipitation. Talking about drip irrigation, drip uh, poses a particular challenge because uh, the development of uh, wetting patterns depends on quite a number of factors, emitter spacing, the discharge rate of emitters, the placement of the emitters above or below ground, the irrigation frequency uh, and amount, uh, crop extraction pattern, and obviously soil hydraulic um, uh, attributes. So it is very difficult to, to see how much wetted volume we actually have. Uh, hence, we always have suggested to use at least two probes one close to the meter and one possibly midway, or if the trip is off too far apart, at least 30 or 40 centimeters away, to, to gauge uh, the dynamics of the edge of the wetting onion to see whether we got a shrinking if we start under irrigating or uh, if the wetting onion starts to grow, so we're actually over irrigating. The wetting patterns here's a nice picture to show you that uh, in the sand it's got a more elongated form, in the loam, an oval form. And then clay, it really takes shape like a proper onion. And again, we recommend to represent that sort of scenario with uh, two probes. Um, here's a real life example from a vineyard where the canopy was uh, not so vigorous. Tripper 
spacing was about 1 meter 50 and we just put one probe at the emitter and the other one 30 centimeters away from it. When you look at the soil moisture graph it uh, you've got two panes. The lower pane shows you um, the soil water dynamics at the emitter and the buff uh, pane shows you what happens only 30 centimeters away from it. Now you see during October and November during the rainfall only period that you get pretty much the same impact on both probe sites. However, with the start of irrigation uh, in mid-December, you only see spikes of increased uh, soil moisture directly at the emitter and nothing at whatsoever, um, 30 centimeters away, which indicated to us that was not a very good wetting pattern to support, you know, a lush big uh, canopy. Well. Here's a, just a couple of insights uh, more the next time uh, on this issue. Thank you.